Thanks to GoDaddy.com for their continued support of the show. Enter code FRANK from the link in the sidebar and get your .com domain name for $6.95 a year. Good morning, sports racers. This is the American Museum of Natural History, and you're watching the show with Dave Frank. Somebody else sponsored the show. You did. <laughs> Holy crap, in my mom's brand new boots, look at all the candy. Thank you very much for your support throughout the year. That's it for Gimme Some Candy on the show, but Blip.TV has agreed to take it over. That means you can make stuff and people can give you candy. Give them a few weeks to set it up, but it's nice to know Gimme Some Candy will still be around. Also, as the chairs get flipped up onto the tables, most of the meaningless products will be gone by next Friday. A couple might stick around, but let's not dwell on that. It's Ride the Fire Eagle Danger Day. <laughs> Mr. Philosopher, could you give us a quote on being human? Oh, let's see. To... Er... Is human. Thanks, got it. Well, the shipping company DHL doesn't just stand for deliver. It apparently stands for to head and deliver. <laughs> uh. I'm sure somebody else got there first. <laughs> a resident of Grand Rapids, Michigan, received and opened two packages, one containing a liver and the other a partial human head. The packages had originated in China, and DHL said the delivery was a mix-up. In other news, a Chinese mob boss was confused this week after receiving a package containing the book Tuesdays with Maury in an iPod, following several threatening phone calls saying that he should expect a, quote, special delivery. While the U.S. struggles to find evidence for North Korea's alleged uranium enrichment program, some dude in Germany kind of had the opposite problem. For the last 10 years, he's been telling German authorities that he got his hands on some uranium pellets and buried them in his backyard. They didn't believe him, but it turned out to be true. A little comforting bedtime story about radioactivity. The Bush administration has vowed never to speak to that man, and his name has been added to the axis of evil, in all caps. Although possession of uranium is a crime in Germany, he will most likely not go to jail because he turned himself in. And that's why you always tell the truth. Presidential candidate John Edwards had a rough couple weeks, most recently being called a bad name by respected journalist, American sweetheart, and known philanthropist Ann Coulter, seen here holding back the hounds of hell. Edwards seen here welcoming the kittens from heaven was shocked a couple weeks back to find his virtual headquarters within Second Life trashed. His virtual office was reportedly plastered with virtual Marxist and Leninist posters and a feces spewing obscenity, whatever the hell that is. It was assumed that the attack was the work of some Republican e hoodlums. However, in a comment on Edwards' blog, the e terrorist group Patriotic Nigras took credit, adding that they weren't Republicans and saying, quote, sorry we broke your intertube campaign, Mr. Edwards. Yeah, it's getting weird. Finally, the Associated Press reports that a group of Mayan priests will purify a sacred archaeological site after President Bush visits next week. They'll be doing that to eliminate bad spirits left behind by him. He was young, it was a party in Vegas, he might have picked up a couple bad spirits. But that's okay. He's a bridge builder now. Quick cuts and silly news. Have a great weekend. This is Zay Frank thinking so you don't have to. Oh right, and the deadline for the short personal messages for Tuesday's show is this Sunday. Send them to the email address in the sidebar. Mwah.